This is the final configuration drawing of my RV equipment. If you notice, we have a Wi-Fi repeater here. If there's a Wi-Fi system available nearby, then this repeater will pick it up and it will convert it to a LAN Ethernet signal and send it over to the WAN input of the LTE modem. The LTE modem prefers to use a cellular connection to the Internet but if it's not available, it will allow you to use the WAN interconnection to the internet. And the output from the LTE modem comes out the LAN jack of the modem, runs into the WAN jack of the private secure router. And now this router is what everybody connects to. It's a highly secure router. And you don't have to worry about connectivity over here being secure or non-secure. You don't have to worry about man in the middle. You don't have to worry about VPNs because it's all protected right here. And one additional feature of this private secure router is it has a DNS secure system. In other words, when you look for a DNS, it's going to go, it's going to, go to a secure DNS connection. And therefore, you can't have a man in the middle misdirecting your DNS results. So this is a very secure system due to this private secure router. The repeater and the LTE modem, I'm using no security restrictions on those two devices, because I don't care, it's just a pipe. They can't really corrupt the pipe, you know, the pipe's a pipe. So that's an overview of this system. When I say a pipe is a pipe, I'm referring to the fact that this private secure router forces the secure DNS connection. You you can't change it. it. The users can't change it. And it can't be changed down the line. So it definitely goes to the secure DNS every time. So there's no man in the middle there. And since you only connect to secure websites, there's no man in the middle there. So that's what I mean by a pipe is a pipe. There can't be a man in the middle if this DNS server cuts straight through to the DNS server out there on the Internet securely and brings it back securely. There's no man in the middle there. Also, if my users are only allowed to connect to secure sites, then that's also encrypted back to the website where that is, and there can't be a man in the middle there. So that's why I'm saying that a pipe is a pipe. Now we'll take a look at the actual Wi-Fi repeater connectivity. I'm inside a Wi-Fi repeater right now. You notice I'm set up for a repeater function. I gave it the name RV Van Repeater and RF Guest. There's two Wi-Fi systems here that are available, but I have them both disabled right now. That's why they're not green. They're white because they're disabled. The mode of this Wi-Fi repeater is in the, what it says here, repeater mode. Notice there's three other modes down here, and they're listed here, cable, tethering, and if you have an external 4G modem, you can plug it in. But it has to plug in on the USB jack. So I don't have a modem that does that. So therefore, I use this other device over here. I use this Link Hub router. It times out if, if you don't act, have any activity for a while. You notice the SIM card's ready, but we're disconnected. That's because I don't live near a cell tower area. So I can't use a cell tower at this particular location. But I can still use the Wi-Fi, I mean the wide area network input. So I go over here to settings. Notice I have a WAN, wide area network. And if I look at the status, it shows I am connected. What I'm connected to is this other device over here, this guy. So that's who I'm connected to. And I can tell that by his MAC address. So you notice that I get rid of that and I look at the Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is, they're all disabled. Wi-Fi is disabled. I don't want any Wi-Fi interfering with my other Wi-Fi on my secure router. One thing I do find inter interesting, though, is that under status, it doesn't list the WAN. You can't see the WAN details. We can see the LAN. We see what's connected, which is my secure router. We can see the Wi-Fi, which is disabled. There's nothing about the WAN. You have to go over here to Settings in order to see the WAN. And 
once you come here into the WAN status, and you can see that the WAN is connected to this MAC address, which happens to be this guy right here. So I thought that was a little unusual that the home doesn't show that. At any rate, this is what we have to be concerned with on this router, just those few things. Also, device access. You notice it shows that this is my secure router once again. It shows it's connected and has access to the internet. So that concludes the section on this link hub. Let's take a look at the Wi-Fi repeater for a moment. Notice it's configured with the Christian 57. That's the name of a Wi-Fi system in my house. So it's connected to that. And like I said earlier, we're in the repeater mode, therefore. Everything's straightforward. There's nothing else to do. There's no wireless. They're all disabled. Both of them are disabled. They're off. As far as clients go, the only client he sees is this. He sees this router here. Something is connected to his LAN port. So upgrades, you can upgrade a thing. We have current versions right now. We're up to date. And firewall, we don't care about firewall. Plus, that's just allowing port forwarding. We don't want to do that anyway. So we don't care about that. If you want to use a VPN, you can use it here. But there's really, I have no reason to use it with my secure router because the secure router has a secure DNS server. And there can't be a man in the middle there. And as long as I only connect to secure websites, then there can't be a man in the middle there either. So really don't need a VPN. If you connect to a non-secure website, then you could have a man in the middle in my system. But we don't do that. Most browsers warn you that it's not a secure website. So if you connect to non-secure websites, then you're kind of foolish. You're very desperate to get to that website. Um, applications, I won't get into that. That's a bunch of things. Down here you can change your password and your IP, your LAN network, time zones, and all this stuff. We don't need to do any of that. The button settings don't give us enough options. Notice there's only two options. I don't want to do either one of those. So I don't need the button settings. So that pretty much concludes this overview of my connectivity and how the two devices, the Wi-Fi repeater and the LTE modem, interact with the secure router to give me very good security no matter what my Wi-Fi connection is. I guess I really should demonstrate that this system does work. So you've seen my connectivity to the two devices. Now let's connect to the internet. Notice that I can in fact connect the internet. Everything works. So everything works with this configuration as shown in this drawing. I can also check my secure inter internet DNS server connection by doing a 1.1.1.1 slash help. This is a web page set up and notice it's saying that yes, I do have DNS security. Everything's working. I'm using DOH, I'm not using DOT. So there's proof that my DNS server is, in fact, secure because it passes this secure test page. So good luck with your project.